Hello everyone, I hope you all are well and safe. I have decided to make a tutorial video. I wanted to make a duo with myself, which I've been doing for a while and people were asking actually how to make those videos. So I'm just gonna go through some gear first, what kind of gear or what kind of editing programs I use. First one I use is called DaVinci Resolve. I'm using 15, but feel free to download DaVinci 16. This is for uh, entirely for free. There are paid features as well, of course, if you want to make it more professional. This is the sound recording device that I use. It's called Zoom H1N. This is the cheapest and best quality you can get in the market, I would say. The green screen is quite important for me. Like, it's, it's not, you don't have to have a green screen to shoot videos, actually. Uh, makes it more fun for me. So this is my Granados video recordings and sound recordings. I've done these ones with the Zoom and these ones with my phone, the iPhone 11. Just gonna start with this. So this is the footage, the first footage. You can have a look at the sound waves to, you know, see where you actually start playing. It starts somewhere around here. There's this really useful tool. Uh, this one is called the blade. So you can cut the footage from there. And when you're deleting something, please use Ctrl and X. Okay, this is kind of beginning of the footage and I have to be positioned somewhere like that and we need to get rid of these parts of the footage because I need green background to key it out. Right, I'm gonna go with cropping now first. There's this cropping option right here. So crop left. So left side of the footage will be cropped when I just do this. Let's see how it crops it. All right. This is as much as we need from the footage. And then I'm just going to crop the right side of it as well. All right, this is all I need from my footage, right? I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other footage as well. Just going to take this footage and put it on the timeline. Going to have a look at where I start. So it's somewhere around here, obviously, because the sound waves go insane there. All right, no, sorry. Uh, we need more of our footage, so you, you can extend it as much as you want. Anyway, okay, so now I'm gonna just crop this image as well. It should be fine. I'm gonna crop the right side up. Sorry, you see the footage is right behind it, so I'm just gonna put them next to each other. So I'm just going to position them now. To position them, you can go to transform bit. You can either zoom, zoom in, which I will, I think. And then our second guy. Of course, I need to key it out to see properly what's going on there. And this one can stay there maybe, but I need to make sure that they appear like they look at each other. I'm going to show you the most important feature that I use for myself is the is keying out the green screen behind and the footages. We need to click on the footage and then we're going to go to 3D here. It is selected HSL, but we need, need 3D. Now we're going to mark the green parts. Okay, after choosing much of this green space, I'm going to go with Control, Alt and H, sorry, to reverse this footage to black and white. So I can see, you know, where I need to clear out. Okay, but um, I need to go further to see if more cleaning needs to be done, which it is because the green screen wasn't set really well. Oh my God, you look at that. So I'm just gonna use Control and Z now because I have destroyed the footage. Control and Z, I'm back to normal. At this moment, uh, there are a couple of really important bits. We're going to invert this because we want the footage to be seen, not the background. So I've inverted it. Now I've got the guy in the picture. I'm going to click on this pill, but without doing this, um, it's not going to work. So we're going to add an alpha output now. And then we're going to drag this blue bit to that one over there. And it is done now. We're going to click on our other footage, Control, Alt and H to go back to normal. I just want to see this footage, just replacing the footages actually, putting it on top for this layer to be seen first. Okay, HSL, I made it 3D. 
Now we're gonna choose the green parts of the screen. That's great. So Control Alt and H to see if we were able to clear everything out. Almost everything, yeah. And we're gonna check out some other frames if everything is in place. Cool. This one is a lot clearer than the other one, to be honest. Okay, so we have chosen the green bits. Control Alt and H, we have turned it into black and white. Now we have chosen the background. We are gonna invert it. And now we choose the subject to be seen instead of the background. We're gonna dispel that and then add an alpha output to this one. Uh, I need to mask my other footage to be seen. So you're coming to this bit, uh, window, you're choosing a uh, rectangular window and you just need to choose the, the footage that you want uh, your audience to see. I'm going to choose the other footage. I'm going to mask this one now. Okay. So this is good enough, I suppose. Now, let's see. Yes, uh, it worked. Okay. Now uh, we are looking at two entirely different places. But this is how to key out the green screen. We've done anything about changing the resolution. For example, if you're going to put this on IGTV, you can do it horizontally or vertically. For changing the resolution to a vertical you need to reverse this so 1920 needs to go there and 1080 needs to go there we are gonna do square footage for instagram i'm gonna put it on story most probably i'm not sure yet maybe as a post but i want it to be uh, a good kind of size for both instagram stories or not the IGTV, not the IGTV, but should I go with maybe? Nah, this needs to be 1080. What kind of background image should I use with this one I'm thinking of? Anyway, we keyed them out. We are going to think about a background image, uh, but mostly this is what we are trying to achieve and we have achieved it already. Now it is time to listen to it. So I'm just going to turn off the footage. Okay, this guy starts first. Okay, so let's just put it back here and then it starts here. And we need to delete the other one as well, so let's see. Okay, this is the beginning of it. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, this is where we come in. Okay, you know, I haven't done anything about the uh, audio, just listening uh, if it's synchronized or not. And I, I believe it is. So I'm just going to uh, extend this one because the footage needs to start at the same time. Anyway, so I'm just going to drag the main take, which is Granada's one. I'm going to match this with this because this is the better sound recording and this is the phone's recording. So this is where we start, right? And I'm just going to drag this right under that. I'm going to mute this one. This button here is mute. You see it's not synchronized. So we are going to synchronize it. Just come to the beginning of it and zoom all the way in. Okay, so now it is all clear to us. We can see them both. That's it. So everything is in place now. So we need to get rid of the phone's recording now. So I'm just going to extend this to the beginning of the footage. Click on Granados 1. If you delete this, it will delete the footage as well. So we're going to lock this one. This is the locking tool. As I said, no delete button as much as possible. Sometimes you need to use it. But now Control and X, that audio is gone. This is your audio, this is matched with your footage, as long as it is at the beginning of the timeline is matched. Now I have moved this one up, but instead of that I need to leave this bit open so I can just put the Granados 2 here. 
We are matching these two, right? So we need to mute this guy. Let's hear it. All right, this is zoomed in too much. Sounds like one guitar. That's what you're trying to achieve. Now, it was Granados 2, right? Uh, I'm going to click on lock again from here. I'm going to delete this audio, Granados 2, Control and X. And it's gone. These are matched. All well. Okay, I'm going to leave this bit open because I might need to edit some stuff. Now, I'm just going to listen to it once to see if everything is in place. was a bit too quick so we need to go in detail you want that to be exactly where this is sound is synchronized let's find a background image for this Okay, now um, you need a background image. I didn't think about that. I should have. Uh, Spain. If it doesn't work on the first time, I don't know why, but it works on the second time. Okay, so we're gonna put that here to see. No, this is uh, not what we want. Click on both of our footage. And we're gonna drag it up so we've got room for the background footage we're gonna move it to video one oh then it will be on the background so we're gonna extend this this is just a just a one frame picture of course we need to adjust it now so here is what we need to do we have this black thing here which is most probably because of masking so if we go a little bit shorter there it should be fine so this is it, this is Spain, beautiful mountains, nice houses, yes, that's great. All right, we're going to come to the color tab now. We need to do stuff with this, Control Alt and H to get rid of the white screen so you got the footage behind. This is uh, the color wheel. You can adjust everything from here. This one is the colors that are closer to black. This is the mid colors and the gain is the white colors, the very bright colors. Offset is the like overall color scheme of the footage. So what I'm going to do is the curves are also doing the same thing. These are called nodes. Um, this is the bright node. This one is uh, the dark node. So if I do this, it will be black. You need to just improvise with that. I'm working on the mid colors. It's already looking a lot better. So this looks a little more natural. Control and C, copy is whatever you have done. So Control and C here, and then I'm gonna click on this, and then I'm gonna do Control and V, which pastes the exact same action. All right, so this doesn't look that bad. Go to Saturation tab. This is the color wheel again. Saturation is right here. Double click on it, go 25, and then the colors will be a lot smoother because you're uh, basically uh, lowering down uh, the color intensity looks fine to me for a short video that's done I think we need to now balance the sound actually the first and second guitar sound now we, we are on the far light tab here let's listen to it and let's hear what is going on So we are going to be working on audio one and audio three, right? Audio three is the melody and audio one is the accompaniment. I'm just going to go like minus five on this one to see if it balances things out. I'm going to turn the volume more on that one. 2.1 is fine. Let's see how it goes now. <laughs> so 
so let's turn these oh, sorry yeah turn these off I, I don't think I'm gonna edit any mistakes there are a couple of mistakes but who cares this is a little too soft isn't it so I'm just gonna take my blade uh, gonna go deep into that gonna zoom in gonna cut it off now I'm gonna turn on the volume of this so yeah it balances it a little bit more I don't need uh, to hear this really much so because it's the exact same thing going on there let's do it minus three and let's keep it like that I want that to be more on time so I'm gonna cheat I'm just gonna shorten it let's see okay this was more on time I'm gonna add a track here stereo so we're gonna just put it down here again I'm gonna match it with the other guitar okay just gonna extend this bit I just want that to be together all right, this is what I'm doing at the moment is crossfade. I'm fading this one out and this one in at the same time to, to make it sound smooth. This is fine, I think. All right, let's go to sound tab here. This is the uh, sound recording I'm working on. I go to EQ, double click. And then I am turning on the band one, and band one was somewhere around there. Put it somewhere around here to 120, and that's what I do with the equalizer. Nothing else really. So we're gonna do the exact same thing on every every single track that we have. 120. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb to it. Control and S. This is granado save your projects always all right now effects i come to the effects tab here fair light and then go to reverb there and from reverb tab i go to cathedral i like this one the most so i'm just turning down uh, this output dry and wet so i'm gonna go with something around 10 percent 1036 perfect all of them have reverb now that's all I do with the sound recording. We've got a tiny bit of editing here and there. When you're editing sound, you can actually use the other takes. I didn't. Okay, so let's listen to the sound. Let's hear if it uh, sounds okay. And then we can uh, just put the final touch. It is time to finish the video. I have um, a logo created by Cihan Özdemir. Just ask for a logo from him. Uh, in two minutes, he sent me this. So have a look at a Retouch Labs Instagram page or website. Incredible, very creative people working there. I'm just gonna drag this again to the media tab of DaVinci Resolve. So I'm gonna use the black logo. Okay, one thing, I'm just gonna fade this out. So this is the sound fading out as well. We have done all that we wanted about the sound recording. The color correction of everything is done. We are just in the final bit now. So I'm just gonna put it there and then just match it with this. So I'm making sure that it finishes exactly here together. So I need to just extend this until here. All right, now we need to get rid of this E and G in the middle. Okay, so we're gonna add a mask there. Well, we're gonna keep it shorter because we need M regular Kyle classical guitarist bit, but not the E and G bit. I'm gonna come to the color tab, right? The curves, I'm gonna make it black. I'm gonna just put it all the way down. That's it. This is our logo at the end. Now we need uh, the uh, transition from here to the logo. I like the blur dissolve. I'm putting blur dissolve next to each footage, like between the other footage. And I'm gonna 
add one to this one as well so it's all matched together all right now we're gonna do just one final touch uh just gonna fade this out both of them matches we have done a fade out here i remember one as well okay one final look that's it so i'm just gonna render now you just click on this tab here go to here quick time instead of that just choose mp4 name your file granados start a rendering i will be right back when this is over one eternity later render is finished now it's time to have a look at how it turned out it goes straight to your uh, videos folder so here is our video now we're gonna watch the whole post Uh, actually, I've tried something new this time. I didn't um, set up the green screen very wide or anything like that, but it still works. It's not perfect result yet, and I'm not looking for it to be perfect. Just doing this for fun, which we all need uh, at the moment. We need more fun. I'll show you a couple of videos. For example, this one is just video footage. Uh, just video footage put together so this is entirely something else I love this guy I, I, he's one of my favorite actors uh, we have a picture together with him but this video for example is also done exactly the same way this is a green screen on the background this is a friend of mine actually sent me his footage of playing the second guitar and I added myself again with the exact same technique that I've used for my video. Exactly the same technique. Uh, on the background there is a just moving image. That's the only difference. I've got a really interesting video here like that. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a Skype lesson with myself. This is all video editing. This is entirely different as well. So here um, there is a there is actually a trick going on. I'm just gonna take the phone from the um, table. If you uh, have any questions, just feel free to send me a message and I'll make sure to reply to all of them. I hope this was helpful for some of you out there. I definitely recommend you uh, to start doing that kind of thing. Sound editing, video editing, these things are really fun to do. You don't have to become a professional to enjoy it. Stay safe, stay happy. These times will pass. Stay productive, this will help, definitely. I'll see you later.